there. I am about to um, put all my fixings in for my pozole and I figured I would just um, share with you live in case um, you feel inspired to make it yourself. I have um, boiling water. It's, um, it's been boiling with um, onion and garlic. And yesterday I cooked um, chicken thighs. I like the flavor of the thighs better. And so I have the broth and then I have, let me show you, I have some hominy. Um, I got that from Costco. They actually carry it at Costco. I made the chili sauce with California chili pods. Yesterday I boiled the chili pods and then I blended them with my Nutribullet. And then here's my chicken thighs and it's, um, uh, gelatin-like jelly, jelly, gelatin -like because it was in the refrigerator and then I have oregano and so in the boiling um, onion and garlic water I am going to pour you can see this pot okay so I have a big pot here I'm going to pour my hominy in here oh it's hot water just in case you're wondering I just confirmed that Okay, here's the next one. There we go. So what I do is I bring the, the pot, I fill it about halfway um, with water. I um, cut up two uh, large onions and mince for um, garlic. I put that in there. I put bring it to a boil until it's kind of all just disintegrated. And then once it's at a boil, I uh, put the rest of the stuff in and then I let it cook. Uh, simmer for maybe another 15-20 minutes and it's ready. It's super super easy if you have all the stuff prepped and ready to go. So I'm just pouring everything in here together. And here's this. You can't see but I have Jude right at my feet. Okay so here's yeah so here's this we're gonna pour this in here and I will bring the camera to here so you can see it. But I'm just pouring everything in here. And then of course you mix. And then if you see here, I, it's quite pasty and red still. I'm going to just pour a little bit of water. Sorry. So I poured water, I fill it about halfway, and then that way I don't waste any of the paste that I made. Just mix that up and get what's left of that. Okay. And um, the rest, the oregano, I just kind of um, go based off of what I feel it needs. So I just kind of crush it in here with my hand and um, for flavor and then I do use it um, you know on the table to put as a topping and I top it with cabbage with cilantro with a uh, green onion um, you know some lemon or lime and then I have red peppers because it's not spicy that way my kids can enjoy it as well as anybody who doesn't have like a spice tolerance It's gonna have. It's gonna call for quite a bit of um, salt, so this will take me a little bit longer. I usually um, use like uh, kosher salt, so I don't spend a lot of time um, doing this. But I am out, so I won't be doing this the whole time. But I just wanted to share with you because it is actually super, super easy. It's one of our favorite, favorite things to enjoy um, around Thanksgiving time, and also um, just when it's cold. So um, this is like when I asked my son, my oldest son, well, anybody really, what would you like to um, to have, um, like, what, what would you like to have or what, what's your favorite meal or anything like this? Well, so is definitely top on the list. But, of course, when it's um, soup time is most enjoyable because, um, you know, it, it's hot. It's a hot food in, in California. It's not usually soup weather. So let me just go ahead and show this to you and then I will log off. So here's my pozole. Um, let's try. Here it is. Um, so chicken, water, hominy, garlic, 
onion, oregano, and California chili pods. And it is quite delectable. And I will share the recipe in comments below because I, um, I do have that saved. And I will post a picture of um, when we're enjoying it tonight, what it looks like all garnished up. Thank you.